Jennifer. I am here for your Thursday at three. And I am gonna be a little bit low key today, maybe a little bit slower. I'm not feeling my very best, but I thought maybe I could get off the couch where I've been resting all day and spend 15 or so minutes sharing my fun fold card with you. So if you've ever watched my videos and wished that I would slow down, because I'm usually really fast, Today's the day. I'm probably going to be a little bit slow. My head feels a little bit mushy, but we're going to do this. We have a fun fold card, and it's a fun fun fold card. Like all of the Thursday fun fold cards are fun, right? Here is our card. This one is called. This one. This is an actual name of the card. It's called Double Dutch Barn Door. Double Dutch Barn Door. So Barn Door, right? The first thing you're thinking of is we've been working with cows all week. So you probably are expecting to see a cow on the front of this card. There's not actually a cow on the front of this card. There's flowers and beautiful flowers at that. Now I'm gonna share with you how this fun fold opens up so you can kind of see where the double dutch barn door comes from. So this is the inside. It's a really cool fold. And it really is a super simple fold to do as well. And we have been playing with the gingham papers all week. So of course I kept with the gingham papers. I did share a fun fold on Monday when I did my class. So um, you've seen a fun fold already with the cutest cow bundles, which we used, uh, I've been sharing with you this week. So make sure you're saying hi as you jump on. I wanna make sure you guys can hear and see me. Like I said, my, um, my brain's a little muddled today, so hopefully everything is gonna go well. We're gonna get into this card because um, we are, like I'm ready to go back to the couch. So let me transition over to my workspace and we're gonna talk a little bit about what's going on with the cutest cows. So once again, this is the cutest cows stamp set. Now I'm not using the punch because I'm not using a cow. You could put a cow on this. This is a barn door fun fold card. Cow would be perfect. You could put a cow on the front. You could probably put some cows on the flaps. You could put a cow peeking in. I mean, this would be really simple and cute, right? Um, but this is one of those stamp sets that I said um, during my Monday class that this stamp right here, sometimes maybe you buy a stamp set just for one stamp. And I feel like this little sunflower type um, stamp is the one, right? So we're using that stamp set. And I've also, I don't know if you noticed or not, but I took advantage of the sentiment on the front. It says, thank you this way. So if I turn it this way, hopefully you can see it this way. Thank you is right here with a little flower stem that kind of comes up off of the U. So the sentiment on the front says, thank you. Inside it says, little things you do make such a big difference. So we have the blueberry bushel. We've been playing with that. I have all of my parts and pieces here to share with you the assembly. This is the card recipe. You're gonna see this on in your, um, hi Patty, thanks for saying hi this, this afternoon. I appreciate that so much. Um, this is in your newsletter today, the Double Dutch Barn Door Fun Fold Card. It's got pictures, of course. I always put in some pictures. The recipe, the supplies I used, and the directions. Uh, in my recipe um, today also, I, I went through and I, I corrected the um, last week's Fun Fold Card. I corrected the measurement. So if you like a nice copy that you can keep, um, I corrected the measurement up here for the Moody Moth panel, which was off. So if you look at that newsletter today, you're gonna see all kinds of good stuff. Um, in it, including the new celebration items. Uh, so it just came out, new celebrate. There's more celebration items it just released. You can check that out. If you're shopping, you're gonna be able to get different items now with your celebration rewards. So back to our card here, I've been playing with this glorious gingham paper all week. This is really fun paper. And if you missed our card class, we're just gonna do a really quick review. We have, hi Lois. We have the What's Move With You card. This one was done with the lemon lime. And I colored, as, as you can see, hopefully, I colored these differently <clears throat> in my last class, right? But then I did a color swap. And now we've got pink flowers. Today we've got blue flowers. So I hope you can see that I really am enjoying not only the cows, the cows are super cute, but I'm also really enjoying the flowers. So this was the color swap card. When I did the color swap card, I did add in some embellishments just so that they could be equal. Um, the congratulations card, um, we've been playing with the gingham paper, um, the, the bigger pattern is on one side, smaller pattern is on the other side. So we've been playing with the gingham pattern. And, and we did the same thing with my fun fold card. This is so funny. I used the same colors, right? Blueberry, bushel, white, and black. This was the fun fold card that I shared on Monday. And um, so you can see here, we've got the, the larger and the smaller gingham. So it's been a lot of fun to play with both ginghams. Now this, um, this was my class Monday. So if you missed that, you can go back through and check it out. So I wanted to point out that while we were playing with large and, large and small gingham for this card, I actually used both patterns. So you see small and large gingham in one card. So you can combine them as well, which is really awesome. So I'm gonna need my recipe back. Um, 
so I can remember how the directions go for this one. So I have everything cut and measured here. We're going to talk a little bit about the scoring and um, all that good stuff so that you can make this at home if you want to as well. So for the card base itself, so this is what is considered the card base. I'm gonna, this is the back side of it. So this is the very back, and then this is the front flap right here. So that would be your card base. So that piece is four and a quarter by nine. We're scoring it at three and a half. So when you score it at three and a half, you're scoring it on, on the long section, the nine inch, so three and a half right here. Scoring blade only, don't cut it. Okay, so you score it here and then you fold this over and this is the front flap that you're going to see on this card right here. So there's our front flap just like that. Okay, we're going to burnish that in a minute. We're going to take the next part of the base, which is going to be the barn doors here down at the bottom, these little doors right here. So this piece is two and a quarter by eight and a half and we're scoring it at two and an eighth on each side. So again, on the long strip of it, on the long, the length of it, we're going to do two and an eighth and we're just doing very light, light scoring and we're going to rotate it and do another two and an eighth this way. So two and an eighth light scoring. And the reason you want to do light scoring is we have to bend this over because we want these, this is going to go onto our card base. This is going to come down here at the bottom when we adhere it. We want these to come across and I've already partially bent mine because the, you want them to kind of meet in the middle. You don't want them to overlap. So scoring it lightly is going to help you to get them to meet nicely, line up a little bit. And now I'm going to go ahead and burnish my creases as they come together here. And this is the barn door part. So I'm just going to burnish those down pretty good. These are flappies that are going to move and open. So you want them to be able to open this way and not kind of catch in the middle uh, by overlapping and not be gapping as well. I think, in my, I think in my original, I do have a little bit of a gap. So if I hold this, you can see the white paper under just a little bit, right? But not horrible. But you know, so if you can, if you can move your paper, manipulate your paper at that two and an eighth inch score, you're going to be all set. So let's go ahead and we're going to put together just the, the, the bones of the card here. So we're going to put adhesive on this part right here, this middle section. So my, my score lines and my flaps are right here. And this is going to come down onto the bottom of the inside of our card base. And it's going to come flush to the bottom here and it's going to be side to side. And I'm going to pick it up and kind of wiggle it here for a minute with my fingers. So if I turned it over like this, you shouldn't be able to see anything overlapping. And this is just going to sit right there in the bottom, bottom of the card. Now there is a seam right here. So I'm going to kind of point out there's a seam, right? This is where this piece meets this piece. And what we do to cover the seam is we're actually going to be putting in more layers. And once we put in these layers, we really don't notice how that all goes together. So I do have um, a black uh, insert, four by five and a quarter. So it's just like a matted piece, like similar to what you might use on a card front. So I'm going to put this one in here. We're going to stamp. We're going to stamp our um, the white panel that goes in it. Now, of course, you could also add more to the card if you wanted to. I kept these flaps undecorated. You could decorate these just the same as you do the front. Um, it depends on how crazy you want to get with your card. So we've got those. We've got our flap that comes down. I want to um, point out that this flap right here, the top one, comes down and it kind of holds these together a little bit. Okay, so this one comes over top of them just slightly. And um, as we put our other elements on, as we put our, our uh, flower element on, I'm gonna actually put these, these on here so that they also come down off of the, this one and kind of help to hold that closed. So that's kind of the secret of doing all that. Now I have all of the measurements here. These are just layering pieces, so you should be able to figure out how you want to do this. Um, and I really like the lighter, the, I should say lighter, my brain is muddled today. I like the smaller checkers here at the top rather than the larger checkers at the top. Um, but you know, I'm always open to like, Maybe we should try something different. So maybe we will. We're going to try something different. We're going to do, we're going to do the same. We're playing that game again. I always like to play that game. So I'm going to put this um, designer series paper onto this black mat right here. And this is going to go onto the front flap. So again, um, the decorating of the flaps. Once you've got the recipe down, the decorating really is all up to you as to how much uh, cardstock, how much designer series paper you want to use on everything. Um, so we're going to just put this like so here on the front and we're changing it up a little bit already so you can kind of see here hopefully you can see here my 
this one um, together with that. Now I um, have some little black squares here. This time we're going to have the small checks showing on the bottom. So again, this is just a preference to how you want to decorate your card. I love layers. I like really like layers. So we're going to just keep going here. Now if you wanted to, you could skip um, you could skip the cardstock and just cut bigger pieces of designer series paper and put those down. These are going to come right here onto the front of our little barn door. And I would love to know if you've made this kind of a card before. Maybe this is not um, not something new to you because this is this is a fold that's been around for a really long time. And um, but I thought when I saw the I really wanted to do the cows with the barn door. I really that was where I was going with this when I picked this fun fold out. And um, then I started to not feel super great. So I thought I'm going to make something a little bit simpler because sometimes you have to switch gears and make things simple. So before we put on any more of these layers, we are going to cut a lot of ribbon. We are going to cut about 20 inches of ribbon is what I came up with. Um, and you can work off of your spool if you want to. But and, and again, this is also, you don't have to put the ribbon on here. I've been using this all week. This is actually your free gift from me with your order this week of $50. Um, so we're wrapping it around this piece, this top flap. So I'm just going to put it here. And I'm going to hope that the bow gods are going to help me make a nice bow over here. I think right about here or so. I think we're doing good so far today. So make sure you're saying hi as you jump on. I know... Um, Everybody's a little busy. Maybe you're watching replay. Let me know if you're catching this on replay today. I love to see who's watching the videos. And um, share the love with me, right? Let me know that you're here. Comment. Give me those loves and likes. I appreciate it so much. All right, I'm going to trim my ribbon down a little bit here. Now, my ribbon is still loose. So it's I, I can move this up and down if I want to. And I may take advantage of that as I continue before I finally decide where my bow is going to end up for reels. So, okay. So, um, oh, Lois, this is a new fold to you. Well, awesome. This is, it is a really, and it's easy, right? Um, there's been nothing hard so far. And even the stamping on this one is going to be really easy. We're using, like I said, the flowers because I really wanted to use the flowers. And I'm going to show you um, just really quick, simple coloring as well. So we're going to put the flowers on here. Now this, um, this one stamp has three flowers on it and I'm going to keep them a little bit farther over here to the right because I want to put my thank you and my other flowers. So now these are separate stamps that are in the stamp set. So the thank you is super tiny and there's a little tiny flower right here uh, as well. So what I'm going to do with my thank you is I'm going to actually rotate my, my paper so that I can see. I'm going to try to line up the T from thank you toward the where the bottom of the stems are or so so that it kind of it kind of goes in line this way and then if I can find a little stamp here with the flower so this little tiny flower doesn't have any leaves it just has that little stem that comes up now I'm going to line up the bottom of the stem so these are photopolymers so it really does help you to kind of see through you can also see um, you know obviously I want you to make it hit the U, come on up and not hit the other flower. So I've got my little, that's how I've got my sentiment on the front of this card. While I have the memento out, because I'm going to color these with the Stampin' Blends, I'm going to grab the big, um, the big flowers again. This is my inside piece and I'm just going to come here and come down here at the bottom. I feel like I've got black ink on here. That's okay. We're going to come down here at the bottom and I'm going to just layer some across here. And then I'm going to do one more over here on the end. So this obviously is stamped off a little bit. So my flowers are kind of coming across the bottom just like that. And I don't know if I have my wipey thingy handy. I'm going to grab out my chamois. I know my chamois is damp. This glass mat is fantastic. I know that um, people that have it are loving it. Demonstrators, I should say. This was a demonstrator pre-order back in December. It's one of our great perks. We actually got to pre-order today. Um, all kinds of stuff for the March online exclusives that are coming out to customers in March. So being a demonstrator, um, you get a lot of great perks. And I'm going to talk about those tomorrow night if anyone is interested in joining me um, for an I Love Stamping event. So if you want to know a little bit, a little bit more about getting the glass mat for yourself and how you can order things early and how you can get a discount, I'm going to talk about that and how easy it is. Um, and you you'll just be amazed. So I've got all my stamping done. I did the sentiment in the blueberry bushel. Now for coloring, I chose um, stamping blends. I've got light blueberry bushel, light azure afternoon, and I've got the 
granny apple um, for the leaves. So I'm just going to show you kind of a quick demonstration. I do have one finished that I'm going to pop onto my card. So for each of the leaves, I went in with the light granny and then I went in with the dark granny and I'm coloring with this kind of nib end here. Um, and I'm just kind of going over the line a little bit so that it has a little bit of a blend to it. So for the center of the flowers, I'm using the light azure afternoon. So I'm using the lighter colors of blue here just to keep it a little bit lighter. For the rest of the flower um, petals, and they are kind of tiny, so this little nib end is really especially handy here because you're able to get that ink on there without going over all of the lines. And this, it takes a, a, a couple of minutes here to color these all in. But when you're all said and done, it's just really sweet. We've got some really cute little blue flowers there, which are popping for our card. So I'm not even going to color the inside ones. Um, this is supposed to be a quick video to kind of show you the fun fold, not to show you how I color. Because everyone you guys all have the ability to color however you want. So I've just layered these. Um, these are squares from the Stylish Shapes. These are the two largest squares that come from Stylish Shapes. Any shape that would work on here, you just have to be able to fit it onto your card front. So I'm going to put this right here over top. And as mentioned, I want my my uh, focal piece to kind of come down on top of these other pieces. And then I'm going to wiggle my ribbon down just a little bit. So my ribbon, remember, is still loose. So I have the ability to move it up or down as I want it to go. I think I'm pretty happy with it right there. So to secure my ribbon so it's not quite so wiggly, I'm going to bring in a dimensional. Because I'm putting this um, sentiment piece on with... Uh, dimensionals. So I'm actually going to pin my ribbon down with a dimensional and that's what's actually going to hold my ribbon in place for this entire card and I'm going to bring these in. Now by putting my adhesive on the top panel, this panel right here, rather than on this piece, I know that I'm not going to go down too far. So once this sits on here, I'm just making sure it's going to fit nicely. Once this sits on here, it's going to have this overhang on the back side. And I want to make sure there's no adhesive here because otherwise I'm, I'm basically gluing my card shut at that point. So I'm going to go ahead and take all of these backings off of here. And we're going to pop this on with the thank you going in the right direction. I think it's really cute and clever that that little thank you is part of a flower. So I love to use the words like that, kind of like the vertical sentiment pieces, um, just like that. I'm just going to adjust my ribbon a little bit. So there it is, just like that. Now it's loose here, but it doesn't need to be secured. Any this ribbon is not going to go anywhere. And then we've just got the inside piece here, which I will glue down after I color it. So that's going to go on there. And that is our fun fold card, that double Dutch barn door. Really cute when you've got the continuity of the flowers on the inside. But like I said, any any kind of um, any kind of a theme will work for this. So you got uh, two versions here where I've used the checkers um, large on the top, small on the top. So you can kind of see here it really changes up the 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 card as you're looking at it. Um, it gives it a different look. This one's not staying down quite as as much because I didn't burnish it and haven't played with it enough to keep it more flat. This one's staying a little bit flatter, but there is a look at that amazing fun fold. And I see, hi Jess, how are you doing today? It's good to see you on here. So that is our fun fold. Hopefully. We did our 15-20 uh, minute card, which is great. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, keep in mind that the, um, the Cutest Cows card class that I have offered for this week doesn't necessarily have to have cows in it. So if you put in an order this week to get the card kits that I shared with you, you can choose to use any theme. It doesn't have to be cows. So take a look at those cards again. See what you think about them. Don't forget Celebration is continuing um, for this month. So we have the rest of February to celebrate. And if anybody is interested in the, um, just going to watch replay. Thanks, Jess. Anyone's interested in, I, I love, uh, the I love stamping night is tomorrow night. Um, it is a Zoom um, gathering. So we're going to do a little stamping. We're going to talk about stamping up. It's going to be fun. And there will be prizes because I always like to give out prizes too. All right, everybody, that's it for me. I'll read through your comments later. I appreciate you spending a little time with me. Until next time, stay inspired, create something beautiful, share the love, everybody. Bye.